Hi, it's Bob from Scandinavia coming at you today with a video on self-esteem. I got an email from a subscriber. It's a very short one and it says, quote, I want people to like and admire me, so every day I'm exaggerating and making stuff up in order for people to like me. Sometimes I even steal to have nice stuff to show people. What should I do? End quote. Well, that is low self-esteem in action. The first step you have to take is stop lying because lying actually lowers self-esteem. In fact, it could be the core problem here. It could be a vicious cycle in which you have had a bad habit of exaggerating and lying. And because of that, you have got bad self-esteem. Now, I could talk about studies done on something called cognitive dissonance and how lying actually is bad for us, because there are research done on that. But I won't talk about that. What I'm going to do is I'm going to read something for you. And I want you to listen to the words. Not only listen to them, but really think about them. When you get what you want in your struggle for self, and the word makes you king for a day, just go to the mirror and look at yourself and see what the man has to say. For it isn't your father or mother or wife who judgment upon you must pass. The fellow whose verdict counts most in your life is the man staring back from the glass. Some people may think you're a straight shooting chum and call you a wonderful guy. But the man in the glass says you're only a bum if you can't look him straight in the eye. He's the fellow to please, never mind all the rest, for he's with you clear till the end. And you passed your most dangerous, difficult test, if the man in the glass is your friend. Now you may fool the whole world down the pathway of years, and get pats on the back as you pass. But your final reward will be heartache and tears, if you cheated the man in the glass.